Hey, everybody, this is Perch. We talk about so many heavy, uh, difficult things here that I thought it might be fun to talk about something. Um, you know, I was going to use the word easier, uh, but that that word feels kind of wrong. Anyway, um, this is a title that somebody found and posted. It's a book, I guess, um, on Goodreads. It's a graphic novel. God, I hope it's not a graphic novel, actually. Um, anyway, it's called The Haunted Vagina. And it, it, here is the synopsis. It's difficult to love a woman whose vagina is a gateway to the world of the dead. Tell me about it. Uh, Steve is madly in love with his eccentric girlfriend, Stacy. Unfortunately, their sex life has been suffering as of late because Steve is worried about the odd noises that have been coming from Stacy's pubic region. She says that her vagina is haunted. She says doesn't think it's a big deal. Steve, on the other hand, completely disagrees. When a living corpse climbs out of her during an awkward night of sex, Stacy learns that her vagina is actually a doorway. I'm not going to make a joke. Okay. Is actually a doorway to another world. She persuades Steve to climb inside of her to explore this strange new place. But once inside, <laughs> I like how <laughs> it's like, and, and no problem. He, she, he readily agreed. Anyway, and once inside, Steve finds it difficult to return, especially once he meets an oddly attractive woman named Fig who lives within the lonely, haunted world between Stacy's legs. Okay. So, um, so, uh, so there you go. Um, anyway, that is a choice. And uh, before I'll get in there before it, um, I know that there was uh, the what that tarot, uh, Witch of the Black Rose, uh, right? Which is um, explored this before with uh, haunted vaginas and so on. Um, but um, anyway, uh, <laughs> is it a Jim Jim Belay? Is that is that what, was that that was a guy, right? Um, anyway, what got me thinking about this, other than it's hilarious, is that. Um, Comics um, are fun. I don't know if that's exactly the right word I'd use to describe this, but but if comics are fun when we can have a ridiculous, ludicrous, uh, batshit crazy kind of concept and just roll with it. And it doesn't need to be kind of this. Um, it, it, it just it doesn't need to be so serious. We don't need the deconstruction. We don't need the multiverse of madness. We don't need. I mean, that is the multiverse of madness, but it it can just be insane and then when it is insane like this it's fun to joke about it and it's fun to laugh about it and it's fun to make fun of it and it's really fun to make fun of it without having to worry about if you're making fun of something that happens to have been created by a maybe a transgender writer who is like well, you're, well, well, whatever right and i bring that up because in some cases this isn't a video about you know transgender people or any of the rest but, um Comics are largely are insane when they're crazy. Comics are fun. Um, comics are are great when you don't take them too seriously. When you can kind of just, you know, have have. It, look, remember that uh, Rob Liefeld Captain America picture where Captain America had giant boobs, and it was just a weird drawing and everything else. And I, if you remember for a while, like Rob Liefeld was really salty about that uh, image and people making fun of it. He would angrily respond. He would block people who, who brought it up. Like he was, he was super, super aggressive about this picture. Uh, but the picture was ludicrous. It was, it was just overall incredibly silly of an image. And the the fact that you know we could kind of make fun of it and and joke about it was a good thing it 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 actually and and he's since kind of learned to laugh about it and and you know as as is in on the joke and i think the world is a lot happier where that's concerned and i want to for you know for just for for laughs take a look and or or contemplate if you will Things like uh, this, this uh, you know, the, the old Gabby Rivera American Chavez series, right? The one that got tons and tons of, uh, of wacky things. And it, and it was, you know, it, the, the comic opened with Chavez just punching Hitler because as you do, 
and then kind of screwing up some kind of, you know, Captain America operation, other things. And, and then being kind of rude about it. I mean, it wasn't just that she messed it up, but then Captain America is like, what are, you, what are you doing? She's like, Hey, you know, back off SA. And it, it was, um, there was something fun in that, but the writer objected, Marvel objected, the fans of the books, because we were really, you know, starting to really juice up the culture war at that moment, was like, well, you're only picking on her because she's a non-white male writer. And and it it just, it turned immediately about, you know, the the race of the the person writing. I think, was it Gabby also gay? I, I don't remember. But, but just, like, it suddenly it became all these other things. And then, even though the the comic was arguably ridiculous, you you still you couldn't make jokes about it. You couldn't just you know have a lighthearted time with it. And sometimes I wonder, what if you know Gabby, and because it really you know Gabby could have more or less done this on her own. What if Gabby had uh, you know basically when the criticism rolled in, had said, "Ah, oh, yeah, you know this is yeah, it is wacky, it is silly. You're right, it's funny." Like, what if Gabby had gone in on the joke? And actually laughed along with the critics and said, "Ah, oh, you know, I've got to make the next issue even more gay." Ah, uh, and but but not done it in a like screw you toxic fans, but in just a let's have a good time with this. Maybe hard for you to kind of imagine that scenario, but what if? Um, what if? Uh, it, it, it wouldn't it would it could would that have like that would change the course of like comic commentary history? Because you would have had a creator who was just like, "Oh yeah, it's silly. Ah, have a good time." If you'll notice, some of the creators I've talked to and done interviews with, they will talk about stuff they did in the past that was lousy. And they're very open and very, not humble about it, just very, you know, nonchalant about it. Like, hey, I was getting better and picking up my trade and trying to figure it all out. And, you know, no problem. That's what I do. And that there's something so, you know, infinitely refreshing about that, that um, it, 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 it's just, it makes you want to like the people more. It make I mean, when, uh, you know, when Mags uh, got into that old baseball bat thing and, you know, which, well, that's not a good example because that was a lash out reaction to the fans. So when, when like some of these colleagues are coming out and people are joking, why didn't some of these people pull the kind of three dimensional chess move and actually just laugh along with the critics? If there's one thing that I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's that, if you, um, it, the fastest way to diffuse someone coming at you is to go, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm very stupid. It just like it, it, they got nowhere to go from there. It's a great approach because you, you can't, you can't like continue to hammer on that point. You look like an asshole at that, and, and, you know, eventually. So you have to almost kind of back away and go, yeah, all right. I mean, you know, you, you, you just, it, it doesn't work to keep going hard at this stuff when, the person is just laughing along with you. By, 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 uh, you know, and I don't know what's going on with the old haunted vagina project, but, you know, imagine if you will, um, this, uh, if the creator of the haunted vagina, you know, people are making fun of it on Twitter. If one of the, the creator was like, screw you, this is the most important American word. You're only saying this because I'm, I, I don't, I don't know. Actually it's male or female, whatever it happens to be. I'm assuming it's male. Maybe I'm wrong. But, um, what if it's, uh, like I'm, I'm a Latin immigrant to, you know, I mean, what if they, they threw race and threw gender and through like the have persons that I'm binary or whatever. What if they immediately kind of lashed out? Or, the only reason people are criticizing the haunted vagina is because of the way I look, you know, it would turn ugly fast. Whereas joking around, laughing around is likely to get more sales, likely to, in, you know, engender the, you know, the writer, the creator to the, the, the fans. Because it shows you can take a joke. Now, I guess that's the summary of this video is, you know, with is this solution kind of this toxic mess of a relationship? And I'm thinking about, you know, some of the interactions I've had lately, like with that one prick, you know, who I'm talking about if you listen regularly. Um, what what if he had just kind of like, eh, you know, laughed along? What if you like, ah, oh, you know, no big deal. That's how it started, by the way, and it was it was refreshing. It was nice, but then it had to turn into a bunch of dickery, and that that to me is the trap, and it's an easily avoidable trap, and it's one where if creators really want to have quote unquote the upper hand on the customers, playing along with the joke, 
just having a smile, not getting worked in and not going to World War III over this stuff is the solution. I think you sell more books. I definitely think you take less grief. And it's just every, it's more friendly for everyone in this process. That's what I think. I don't know. I, I'm just, uh, it, you know, this video is an excuse to read that, that, you know, premise for haunted vagina, but it just, it, it all got me thinking of comics are at its best when people are just able to smile, laugh, enjoy the ridiculousness of it and not get into the ugly, ugly details. And every time you do, it's, it's a trap. It just uh, immediately, the attention goes away from the work immediately becomes some kind of civil war of wills between people and less sales, less purchases, more people angry, no good comes of it. But Birch, the, uh, you know, the creator's really being mean to me. Uh, okay. You know, just laugh at them. Because it is ridiculous. Oh, but Birch, this fan is really attacking me, and I think it's because of... Yeah, you know what? How about you don't know? And so just, you know, clown it. Have a good time. I know it's not that simple, but... Could be. I do know that, that uh, lighten up is decent advice for everyone. Thanks for listening. <laughs>